There's nothing like Chinese takeout, especially when you don't want to cook, right? But one popular Chinese restaurant had ingredients near their egg rolls you'd never want to order. More than 50 roaches got this place shut down, along with food at temperatures that could make you sick. It's tonight's Dirty Dining Report. And what did you order? I have garlic chicken, lo mein, and egg foo young. Terry Kastner picks up Chinese food at China House in Brooksville for her parents a couple times a month. But what she didn't know? This particular restaurant was just recently shut down by the state because of a roach problem. Oh, you're kidding me. No, we aren't. China House on Cortez Boulevard forced to close last month after inspectors saw over 50 live and dead roaches on the wall, on top of the refrigerator, and all over the kitchen. It's concerning though, right? Isn't it, it is shocking. My parents have been eating here for years. So we went inside to get some answers. Were you here when the state shut you down? No. Jenny Chen says she's been working at China House for two years and has seen roaches. I mean, after the pest control comes, you see the dead yeah, roaches. Yeah, 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 because I see. They, they do the stuff, put the something on there. And they I kill because, them. Yeah, 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 yeah. We sound like that. But inspectors found other issues, including food at dangerous temperatures. We cooking, we had the open cross, open cross, neither temperature not about 39, 40. That is not too bad. But the inspection report tells a different story, with noodles, chicken, pork, shrimp, and more well above 41 degrees. Is that concerning for you, too? Absolutely, absolutely. I have a history in the restaurant industry, so I know how pertinent um, temperatures can be. And during the prior inspection in July, the state discovered rodent activity with rodent rub marks along the walls and ceilings, rodent nesting materials, and five holes in the kitchen, giving rodents an entrance inside. So who's running the restaurant? The owner. The we just owner. got the owner, okay. but she's not here, so... Um, was well, there a manager on duty? Mm -mm. No. Why not just me and him? This despite inspectors just documenting employees not having required state-approved training. And even with 122 violations in eight months, Chen still feels the restaurant is safe. And do you feel like the place is clean? Yeah, I saw it's fine. But it might be too late for Terry. Do you think you'd come back? Um, probably not, and I, I doubt my parents will either um, once I, you know, call them up and tell them. <laughs> Well, I gave Chen my card and she told me the owner, Neen, would call me, but she didn't. So I left her messages several times, but she never returned my calls. If you want to tip me off on a dirty dining restaurant, head to my Facebook page under Wendy Ryan, WFTS, and let me know.